Uh, General Atomics is one of the world's uh, big uh, manufacturers of uh, unmanned aerial vehicles. And um, we understand that uh, you uh, are closely talking to the Indian government and the three, three services, including Coast Guard, uh, for selling uh, uh, UAVs to us. Tell us what is on offer to India. Well, and that is correct, sir. We have uh, facilitated several conversations uh, between the Indian government and the U.S. government uh, to bring some of our great uh, products to India, whether it's for maritime surveillance or whether it's for overland surveillance. Uh, we believe that we have the products that provide the endurance, the capability, and the technology uh, that India needs to keep both their borders secure and their waters secure also. You know, uh, there are a cross-section of UAVs, uh, some very small from micro to a very large uh, UAVs. And uh, you know that uh, till now, India has been getting their UAVs mostly from Israel or have some indigenous uh, UAVs uh, till now. Uh, India is also looking for um, uh, possibly getting armed UAVs. Uh, could you tell us first, what is the range of UAVs General Atomics have got? And um, what all are you talking uh, with the services in India? So the two basic unmanned aerial vehicles or remotely piloted aircraft as we refer to them uh, that we think would be um, advantageous for Indy to have are the MQ-9B. Uh, the MQ-9B is both has a Sea Guardian variant for maritime surveillance and a Sky Guardian uh, variant for overland surveillance. Now these two airplanes are almost identical. They're just configured slightly different. But both of those airplanes provide the same capabilities. Both those airplanes will give you uh, over 40 hours of endurance, depending on how they're, they're configured. They've got nine hard points for both uh, sensors or weapons integration. Uh, and they're just the world-class products that are out there today. Uh, to date, we have flown over five and a half million hours with our remotely piloted aircraft. 90% of those five and a half billion hours are combat hours. So we believe that we believe, we set the standard for remotely pilot aircraft around the world today, and we're excited to bring these products to India. Uh, you, you understand that India is one of the bigger markets today, uh, uh, looking for uh, weapon systems from outside. And uh, uh, UAV is one area, uh, both for commercial and uh, uh, military purposes. Uh, which has a great uh, scope unfolding because the future seems to be unmanned. So with that uh, in mind, uh, uh, how seriously are you uh, into India? You have uh, set up an office here uh, and uh, you're talking to the civil uh, organizations? We're, we're talking to almost all the agencies within India. Uh, we're very serious about the Indian market. Uh, we just recently opened up uh, an office here in New Delhi. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Mr. Pratesh Gandhi is our uh, director in India. So GA, General Atomics, uh, both the aeronautical and the electromagnetic system side, we're here to stay. We understand that the Indian market um, is a very big market and we think our products are going to place very well in India. My last question to you is that uh, there is already competition. There are some people already sitting over here. We have got the Israeli systems. Uh, how do you... Uh, uh, propose to market your product uh, uh, better than them in terms of technology, quality, endurance, etc., etc. Well, with the special relationship that the Indian government has with the U.S. government, uh, the capabilities we'll be able to offer uh, to the Indian Armed Forces are second to none. But at the end of the day, it's about best value. Yes. And our products truly do bring the best value over their entire lifetime. The MQ-9B the Sea Guardian and the Sky Guardian have over 40,000 hours of life. So it's about, at the end of the day, it's about best value and capability. And we believe that General Atomics Aeronautical brings both of those to the table.